Okay, now where was I? Oh, yes, we left off after the events in January. 2021? That can't be right. 2021? Damn, an entire year has gone by, hasn't it? I mean, it was just one thing after another, wasn't it? Large, time-consuming work projects? Household things that needed my attention right then? Having my laptop quit on me in the middle of everything? That wasn't much fun. Oh, and <laughs> not to mention the long, everyday stress, depression, and crippling anxiety of this COVID era. It really hasn't helped things much, has it? Oh, well. <laughs> well, here it is, January 2022, and I think, I think, I finally have things situated. I mean, I really miss doing this podcast. You have no idea. It was like one false start after another. Well, we have a lot of stuff we need to talk about this year, so let's hope for a good 2022. So fingers crossed, knock on wood, that another year doesn't go by before I get to say, welcome to Blog Oklahoma. Twenty twenty two is an election year here in Oklahoma. This is a year we vote on governor, a good part of the state house and senate, all of our U.S. representatives, and one U.S. senator. Not to mention all of the local races. What makes this year different, though, is you might find yourself in a completely different district. The state of Oklahoma has redrawn its maps due to the twenty twenty census. It's best to check with the Oklahoma Elections Board to find out where you are on this new political map. You might be voting on completely different representation this year. Here are some important election dates to add to your calendar. February 8th is the Board of Education primary and special elections. April 5th is the Board of Education general election with special elections. June 28th is the primary election. August 23rd is the primary election runoff, and November 8th is the big one, the general election where we vote on everybody. I really want to encourage you not to ignore the early elections in February and April. Remember, there are no small elections. With these two elections, you could vote on school board seats, bond issues, county, city, or school propositions. Of these elections, these two early votes can directly affect your community. So please, go vote. As these election days approach, I'll be sure to remind you here on the podcast, on our blog, and on all Blog Oklahoma social spaces, and our new newsletter. If you have any questions about how or where to vote, please visit the Oklahoma Elections Board website at oklahoma.gov elections. That's oklahoma.gov slash elections. Wow, it really was a year since the last episode of this podcast. Oh, I really apologize for that. Like I said in the open, it was just one thing after another, and having the uh, computer die on me, uh, that really put a hamper on everything. I had to buy a whole new computer. That's some money I didn't have. <laughs> but I got a brand new Dell computer with plenty of storage room and memory and stuff like that. And it's working great. It's running Windows 11. I've got the latest version of Audacity recording this as we speak. And uh, things have been going good. Um, I'm also planning to uh, re-spin up the Blog Oklahoma Back Channel podcast. I had started that just about the same time my computer died. Uh, so you're going to be getting more extra content from me. Um, I don't have a set schedule for this podcast as of yet. I don't think I'm going to get back to weekly anytime soon. But at least 
at a minimum, you're going to get a monthly episode. And I'm going to try to make these episodes worthwhile for you, obviously. Um, this one seems to be rather short, except for this update uh, and the uh, election stuff that I really wanted to get out to you. Uh, but that's just because this is the first one. I got to get uh, used to recording again and used to writing scripts and all that fun stuff. But uh, while I was away, I started a bunch of new things. Um, I started a brand new newsletter for Blog Oklahoma. If you haven't signed up for it, please go to blogoklahoma.com slash newsletter and sign up. Uh, you get all sorts of bonus content. The same bonus content that I was putting in the show notes before, I'm now just sticking in a newsletter with a little fun thing at the beginning of it as my way of saying thank you for supporting Blog Oklahoma over these years. And it's a, it's a lot of fun to do a newsletter every week comes out on Mondays, um, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, also, I am working on a brand new version of the Exploring Oklahoma History website. That's been fun to do. I've been uh, changing its style to uh, be equal to what I'm doing on Blog Oklahoma and blogoklahoma.net, uh, blogoklahoma.com and blogoklahoma.net. Um, and, uh, that's been a lot of fun to do. I don't have an ETA when that's coming out. I'm thinking maybe March, depending on how my work schedule goes. I'm kind of been doing that on, you know, when I have an hour here and an hour there to work on it. But it's been fun. Uh, family wise, everybody is doing well in my family and extended family. Uh, nobody here has been caught COVID yet. Uh, Donna and I are both, uh, fully vaccinated and boosted. And, uh, Donna wears a mask, uh, during her sh night shift at the big box store. And I'm in an office pretty much by myself all the time. So, <laughs> uh, we're, we're keeping safe and, uh, most of our friends have been doing well. We've only had one coworker of mine caught COVID, but uh, it was a very mild case for him. Lucky for him, he was fully immunized. So it's been worked out. So uh, yeah, COVID hasn't hurt us too badly. <laughs> it's just the stress of it all, as you can imagine. I'm sure you're living through the exact same stress as we are with uh, the COVID. So hopefully uh, you're vaccinated. If not, please go get vaccinated. It's the best thing to do for you. It's the best thing to do for your family. It's the best thing to do for your community. Please go get vaccinated. Well, that's it for me today. Uh, let's wrap up this podcast and I will definitely have another episode out soon. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? There you could purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash Blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify. There are many hours of music for you to enjoy. I'll have links to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And as always, thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma Podcast. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.com slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links to today's episode. And don't forget to sign up for our new newsletter for all sorts of bonus content. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.